Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we're going to look at smart objects. So you guys know I use smart objects reasonably regularly and you've seen them in all of the full edits on this channel. I'm through an edit at the moment and I've come across this situation that I want to share with you because I realise we've not done it before. So let's start at the top. What is a smart object? Why would you use a smart object? Because that's probably really important. Let's go ahead and basically demonstrate what happens, right? So this is just a signature watermark. So we're going to just select all of it, copy it, and then go ahead and add a new layer to this image and paste it. What that does is that's not given as a smart object, that's just given as a layer, right? And it's currently sat at this resolution, so it's nice and crisp at this resolution. Now if that's a normal layer, what I can do is I can make it smaller, and that's great, but I can then make it bigger, only the problem is is that when it's sat at a normal layer, it's lost its resolution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo those changes so you can see the difference. So we've resized it and then we've tried to enlarge it again and it's lost its resolution. Can you see? So what it's doing is because it's a raster layer, it's just a raster thing, it's rasterized and therefore it loses its resolution. Look what happens when we do the same thing with a smart object and we'll place it in as a PNG, right? So what that's done, because we've dropped it in from a different program, we've now got a smart object. Now what this means is that if we resize that to roughly about ish, the size that it was earlier on, I don't know, about there, probably, maybe, and if we zoom in now, right? So we've kind of set up at the same situation, but we're a smart object. So what we can do is we can resize, and then we can resize again. And the resolution is not affected at all. So a smart object, what it does basically is it holds everything that you've got, all of the pixels safely in a little protective package that you can then go back and change. Now the relevance for this in my full edits basically is that when we have a smart object layer and convert a layer to a smart object, we can then stack filters on them and then go back into the filters to change things. That's the benefit of having it as a smart object. By the way, we're halfway through an edit here, so that's kind of before the edit and that's now. So. This is the point we're at, but I've now come to this and you guys know with using a smart object that you can't then go and do anything because it's a smart object. So you can't clone anything, you can't spot healing brush anything, you, you, you can't do anything because it's a smart object. But what if I wanted to go and clean up some areas? I'm now distracted by this, what do I do? Do I have to rasterize it then I can't go back? What do I do? Right, don't panic. All you need to do is right click on your smart object layer and choose edit contents. What that does is that opens up the internal package as a new document, right? So this is basically just operating as a normal Photoshop file now. So we can create new layers, we can edit on this, we can duplicate stuff, we can paint all over things like so. And then all you need to do is close the file and then save. And what that does is that shoves all of this straight back into this smart object little protective coating here, and it will spit it out, update the layer on this image, and then we'll have our black line, like so, looking good. So what if you've done an adjustment and you don't like it? Well, you can go back in, edit contents, all of those original layers will be kept intact over here. So it means that we can go through and adjust things after the fact, clean up stuff and make sure that we're happy with it whilst we're going through an edit. So that's how you get back into a smart object and that is the purpose of smart objects and that is why I love smart objects. If this has been helpful, please do let me know. I'll see you all again really, really soon.